Hi, it's Tony here. Um, I'm suffering from uh, a skin condition called discoid eczema, which is covering about 60% of my body. Um, I've attached some pictures of my legs, my back, my thighs, my arms, my chest. Um, it's a horrible skin condition. I'm at the moment using a Mimetzone cream which has been prescribed to me by dermatology. Um, it doesn't seem to be touching. I mean, it slows down the eczema. It manages it, but it doesn't go away. I'm now on day four using the Osmio Infinity generator, which has been kindly loaned to me from Mark, by Mark. Um, I'm doing approximately an hour and a half to two hours in the, that night at bedtime. And I've just recently started doing an hour in the mornings. Um, day four, I've noticed um, I'm a lot more alert. I can think clearly now. Um, I'm finding, strangely finding a lot more energy than what I normally, um, normally used to. I mean, when I mean energy, uh, it's like you've had a really good night's sleep. Um, I, I normally average eight, uh, but the last couple of weeks I've only been managing between seven, six and seven hours per night. Um, but I've been full of beans today and it's day four. Um, as you can see, my stomach is covered with discoid eczema. Those have been there on my skin for pretty much four months and you get little ones sprouting um, since I've been using the Osmio I've noticed quite a few of my arm are beginning to fade uh, my head is beginning to fade I've got one there on my eye as well annoyingly um, and up my neck yeah day four can't really make this up they are beginning to fade uh, i am using memetzone as well in the morning and the evening i think combined with the memetzone and the cannula from the infinity it's the infinity is actually boosting my immune system and uh, it's helping the memetzone heal so yeah stay tuned and see you in four days time Hi, this is Tony C again. It's now day eight on the Osmio Infinity. Um, I've noticed a hell of a change with my skin condition. As you can see, my head's virtually disappeared. Well, not my head, but the uh, the rashes on my head. Still there slightly, but, you know, it's just they're, they're beginning to fade. They're, they have disappeared. The swelling's gone down. Same as my arm. Uh, those are actually starting to fade. Uh, shadow if anything hell of a difference from eight days ago where they were bleeding constantly and constantly itching um, I'm just moisturizing now I'm not using um, steroid cream uh, so it's literally just the Osmio Infinity and the the moisturizer which is keeping me going it's, it's amazing I can't believe how um, effective this is um, hydro um, therapy if, it, if you want to call it that hydrogen therapy is it's sat as well really it, it works um thank you mark it's really helped me out um i'm going to carry on using it until i've got rid of all of it but i'll update you again in four days time uh, and show you some more changes um i'll do some pictures later on as well just so that you can see the changes from four from the beginning to four days into eight days so uh yeah, be good. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, it's Tony again. Uh, it's got to be day 10 now. Um, I had a bit of a flare up today. Um, all my fresh, all my old uh, Mark's Xmas come up and puffed up. Luckily I haven't got any new Xmas. I've just done an 18 hour stint behind the steering wheel driving to Scotland and back on the delivery. Um, I made the ultimate mistake of not using the Infinity yesterday because uh, I had two hours sleep and I had to get my head down. 
Uh, so that's 24 hours without the infinity. And uh, yeah, I should have really jumped on it last night, but I missed it. Um, I tried to, but the machine was too full. And I made the silly mistake of trying to siphon the fluid that was inside it. Not a good move. Um, nearly burnt my mouth, but other than that, it's uh, it's back to running. I'm running on it now. <sighs> Four, three, two hertz, man. Love you. Catch you soon. Hi, everyone. It's day 21 uh, of the Affinity, use of the Affinity. My skin condition is now disappearing. It's... Uh, it's working really well. Um, I'm not as itchy anymore. A few little scratches. Um, a lot of the blemishes in my arm, they are now just, you know, darker patches of skin. Uh, there's no more swelling. Um, there's, there's very few bits of eczema, which is tailing on from, I mean, it looks actually bad. I've got some cream on there at the moment, but um, dark patches of skin. But there's no no actual swelling on there. There's no itching. Um, basically, everything's fading off. You can see the few have faded off. Um, it'll just gradually fade, and then it'll just disappear. The eczema. Uh, a week ago, that was bleeding, and that was that was itchy. So it's day twenty one now. I can't believe how quickly um, this is actually going away. I mean, there's a little bit there. Um, you can see there's no, there's no swelling. Um, I was at a stage where I was training and um, in between uh, doing the movements, I was wiping the blood off the wall because I was spraying blood uh, against the mirror, which wasn't fun. It's not bleeding anymore. Uh, it's not painful anymore. Uh, few marks of my body. I mean, I'm, I'm quite severe with the... I'll just show you my leg. Uh, if you can see there, that's all gone really light. Uh, two weeks ago, that was really dark, really puffy, really itchy. Nothing was touching it. Um, I'm beginning to feel better in, in myself. A lot more um, energetic. Um... I used to cough in the morning as well. I don't do that much um, anymore. It's, this machine, man, it's 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 amazing. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Hi. So, okay, today is day sixty. I'm using the Osmio Infinity machine. My eczema is pretty much cleared up now. I've got a few little bits. Probably about 10% on my arms and legs. Um, all this is just dark patches of skin where my scars used to be. So it's like scarring. They're eventually fading. Uh, my arms are looking good, clean. There's a little bit there, but other than that, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty much cleared everything up. I'm using the Dermavate cream just to manage the eczema, that just stops it from getting worse. But uh, the Infinity uh, machine has actually cleared up a lot of this. I feel a lot more awake, a lot more with it. I'm now doing all-nighters on the machine at 45%. So I'm, I'm doing a good eight hours an evening. I've just started doing that, mind you. So fingers crossed, another week and I'll be off the machine. Hi all, um, this is Mark from Osmio here and um, I wanted to just make a quick note to cap off this video uh, diary of Tony's and his journey with using hydroxy and hydrogen water a bit as well, which he didn't mention, but um, his journey using that and I would say it's obviously been two months and he's largely better, but not fully recovered. So this is why I'm capping off this video because I wanted to talk about the root cause of eczema and it's 100% in my mind, no doubt, caused by emotional stress. Um, and so stress, um, we've seen a much faster recovery rate in children uh, who uh, and 
other, other two things about children. They do not drink alcohol and Red Bull. So, Tony, if you've not drunk any alcohol or Red Bull throughout this whole two months, then the outcome could have been major different, okay? And obviously, he did remark that he had a flare-up over a period of stress on the body, as in lack of sleep, overexertion, and this thing behind me, you know, time, is causing stress. It's actually... We feel stressed because we don't feel like we've got the time to relax. We don't feel like we've got the time to meditate and all sorts. So generally, like children can get eczema after a period of emotional stress. Adults do the same. Uh, it creates an autoimmune over response. And that's exactly what's expressed in the skin. So the skin uh, uh, with, with children, we've, we've seen a faster recovery, obviously. So adults doing this kind of study please avoid alcohol please avoid processed foods please avoid um red bull artificial sweeteners etc avoid all these things because these are working against the hydrogen treatment on, on top of that i would say look focus on the root cause don't don't look away from it uh, the root cause of stress is about um anxiety really about the future and that's living in a future tense so it doesn't give you the time to relax or the time to decompress or whatever it is you need to do so um that's it really anyone else with eczema who wants to get in touch and talk about it please feel free and i uh, hope this video is useful thanks very much